Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rise of the Robots campaign where we are only going to use sparks and psionically active characters. It is time for another supply raid. If we overall analyze our situation, we're pretty much in the mid game. We got a couple of sparks going, we got a couple of psionic actively characters going and what we really need is more Larium and alien alloys just to get to those end game equipment stages to kind of update everything and upgrade it. So I'm super thrilled to see that the supply rate is going on and that we hopefully can extract as much as we want from it. It doesn't give us a difficulty rating, but we know that there is extra material in storage chests that we shouldn't blow up, which is fine. But you know how I am with liberal use of explosives. It might or might not end up to be a complete cluster fest. So let's take a look whom we're taking with us. As always, we got our three sparks, Glaive, Dagger and Vector. Vector is a bit of an outlier. I really like the naming convention of me medieval weapons, but yeah, be it as it may, the three are the ones that we're taking. We got our flamethrower with us for the first time. We got the um, tech team, Roby and Renman uh, with us, and yeah, why not uh, taking XQS6 with us? Still got the option for a school check so that we maybe will be able to extract another facility lead. I highly doubt it because rookies usually tend to have really, really low hacking stats, but it's also not a problem if he gets injured. So very difficult tells me that there is probably a chosen within the map. And this here tells me. Nah, they cannot bond yet. Oh, I was hoping that they would. Well, they do have a high. They do have a high cohesion, so maybe, maybe we can bond them after the mission. Anyways, that's the team that we're going to take into the next mission. And off we go, guys. Let's jump right into the action, shall we? Hey, yeah, we landed. I love the look of all of the sparks. Looks a bit like a Transformer movie, just with very small Transformers. And without the ability of them to actually transform. But yeah, aliens are involved at least. So we can and should move all the way up here. We know that we can secure the parameter. Let's take this here as a scouting opportunity. Pretty aggressively moving in. Let's use the rest of our sparks to move up. Vector and dagger. Both are moving up. I'd like to stick with this uh, with the uh, this drop down Sky Ranger. I never had the opportunity to really get on top of it, but this here is high ground, and for the sparks, it is a fantastic battlefield. Let's take some solid full cover over here. I'm um, just double checking. We keep the same kind of close formation as I mentioned beforehand without getting too clustered up. And I don't see any reason why we could not start this encounter soon. It'll also show whether or not there is a Chosen. By the way, big surprise, there probably will be if it is very difficult um, difficulty. But yeah, how about we're not in range for the school jack, which is a bit of a shame. You know what? Let's wait until they are closer because I like the idea of school checking them. Yeah, 
in the same train of thought how about we're just getting all of our operatives in a line I want to cluster up too much, so let's take a move over here. That's an odd place. Oh, this is still full cover. The whole wing is pretty odd because it spans two levels at the same time. Not everything really gives you a lot of cover. I like it. I've never fought at that particular part of the map, so. It's a good change of pace. Well, hello there. So much for the idea of getting a skull jack. Well, it is what it is. Oh, the game freezes up on me. I don't know why that is happening. It's pretty frustrating, I might add. Good. Let's take a short peek and see what we're dealing with. There's another pack over here. Looks like Mutant plus... This is a Purifier, I would guess. This here should not pull yet. Ah, just on the edge. I miscalculated one step, probably. Not the end of the world. Let's see if we can find some high ground. That would be my next train of thought. Can't really stand here. You need to go all the way up to here. Ah, that is disappointing. Good. Roby can move up here. And that's a solid flanking shot with a pretty, pretty solid hit. This guy is down to a hit point, so anyone with just a normal stock will be able to murder him. Fortunately, we're not close enough. Does anyone else have a stock? This here has a stock, right? Yeah, that has a, sc a stock and a scope. Good. Dagger moves up. By the way, I want to test. Ooh, with the extended range, the flamethrower isn't bad at all. Should have probably reconsidered beforehand, but boy, boy, that's a lot of range. I Somehow, in my mind, it was like the um, long warp version but that's pretty much almost like a shredder gun okay i'll keep that in mind good this is 100 percent kill due to the stock there we go he missed and still killed him which is the cool part about stocks if you know how to use them they can be incredibly useful Okay, mechs are proceeding with their onslaught. There we go, that's a pretty solid hit. And we got another stock here, so this is another kill. There we go. Pretty solid dismantling of both of them. Here is where many people would probably do a mistake and just move forward. But I know better. Um, we should save 
ammunition. That's the momentum I'm often speaking about. If you don't need to press forward, there's a great opportunity just to hold your position, get that overwatch trap going. And you're often rewarded with someone running into you. You are still at uh, full capacity and everything's working out well. Good. Let's just move on. Uh, can't yet fully move on. I wanted to use the battle scanner in order to kind of assess if we can spot something out. It's not the case yet. Moving our fire line. Good, and we got a bit of uh, an issue with cover over here. Got it. Moving. So, Fireline has moved, which means we can continue the overwatch. And we're going to use another battle scanner soon, but luckily for us, someone was unfortunate or stupid enough to run into our overwatch trap. And they are going to be blasted hopefully or not well there is another purifier right yeah so the flamethrower is sort of irrelevant Still haven't really seen kind of uh, the level of enemies here that would justify just the difficult, uh, the difficult or very difficult nature of the of this mission. Maybe I'm missing something. Let's clear out the forest. That's a solid kill. And another kill just just like that. Movement engaged. Interesting. Okay, we have plenty of uh, cooldowns still left over, which is why I was not yeah particularly concerned about triggering them. We do not have any blue screen rounds, okay. Moving all the way here into full cover. And Roby moves here into half cover. Could have taken full cover here as well. Let's just double check what's our chance. That's 50-50, uh, we don't have a stock. Might as well give it a try. Very nice. That takes care of uh, the replication. Alright, softening this Viper up. Perfect. We still got a Mimic Beacon, if that is needed. Proceeding to target. Moving to target, and we got like what? Ah, that's good enough. Don't need overdrive yet. Seventy-six percent. How about we're overdriving? I think there is no harm in that. Pulled another pack, so might as well trigger another cooldown. That's one shot, and just for the sake of using it. Wow. Okay. Well, I destroyed the loot. That was unfortunate. But at the same time, I saved us a charge of the Mimic Beacon. 
and that's why I use the hundred percent hit instead of instead of taking my chances. Taking a good overlook here. Cannot stress enough how valuable that high ground can be. Don't want to put all three of them at the same place. Two of them are plenty. I'm on the move. Good, let's open this one here. Nice. Got something good here. 30 supplies, so it's not bad. And we're going to move up. Good time for reload again. Overwatch up here, one reload, and we still got an auto loader, so another Overwatch. Kind of keeping that balance between whenever you don't really fully need to reload and those who need to reload. Like I said, I'm, I've talked a lot about momentum in this series, which is an underestimated thing. <clears throat> All right, that's the end of the map. I'm pretty sure we have found everyone uh, everyone there's maybe one more pack over there good no getting into the tower Renan gets into the tower as well XQS moves over here Vector can stay there well, let's just Advancing. change our positions a tiny bit No one seems to be coming directly our way. Might as well wait two rounds for the over, uh, overdrive, but it's okay. I would guess without knowing it, that that might be the last pack. Vector moves up, triggering yet another overdrive. Got a good old rocket launcher left over. And there's almost nothing more satisfying than opening with this big fat rocket launcher. Hmm, okay. That is what I was looking for. Perfect. Hits three of them, should remove a lot of just the cover. Okay, and we'll keep our 100% hit for later. Let's kill the Spectre first. That's unfortunate. One mutant down. Roger that. Moving up here. Rocky takes another shot. That's a kill. We'll keep our Mimic Beacon nicely stored away. That's yet another kill. Let's prep this guy. Very good. And let's put it this way, unless this is 100% shot, we're definitely going to use the Mimic Beacon. Just because there is no downside, and forcing him to, to deal with the Mimic Beacon 
is always advantageous. There we go. Not really sure why that was classified very difficult. It was pretty one-sided. But maybe we are now also reaching the point where the mechs are just taking over. Um, I'm okay either way. It's good to have a couple of smoother missions. Just wanted to let you know. Uh, it's a very nice feeling uh, going in with uh, those multiple mechs. So they are strong in the mid game, no doubt. And there we go. Another successful mission. Unfortunately, another mission without any promotions. Hector already has 60 kills. That is impressive, to say the least. Got ourselves 200 supplies and wow, 81 alien alloys, 52 alarium crystals. Holy shit, that is really good. Okay, so can we upgrade anything else here? We probably cannot. Build items in terms of upgrade here. I wasn't a hundred percent sure about the gremlins. I think that this will upgrade uh, the hacking uh, capabilities of our sparks as well. All of the other upgrades are completely meaningless for us as none of these classes are available. Maybe go for another mind shield. Probably not. We got enough mimic beacons as well. Look, we got all of the good items. An EMP grenade from time to time makes sense. <clears throat> but I think we're good with regards to that as well. Let's double check what else could be upgraded. We do not need anything from the GTS. That's pretty much done at this point. Cannot upgrade the resistance ring anymore, right? Oh wait, we can. But it would cost us more energy, yet more energy. So, of course we could go for an Alarium Conduit, but that would cost us 20 Alarium. And I'm a bit stingy on that Alarium. It would gain a, uh, it would gain a considerable amount of energy though. And we could speed up a couple of things. So maybe those five days are worth it. Let's double check. I mean, if we free this up, we can upgrade and we could build. Shadow Chamber, yeah, it's okay, but we couldn't afford that with the energy. Training Center is okay, but not fully needed. Infirmary certainly would be a nice to have, but Probably the best one here is the defense matrix, not needed immediately. So I don't see the need to rush that. And with the shielded power coil, we'll have plenty of energy. Upgrade here, of course, could be that additional uh, station that could cost even more energy. It's a matter of uh, also freeing up um, those engineers. But none of that immediately strikes me as needed. I'll keep those because I know we're soon going to require that. Just double checking the projects here. We got a couple of cores left over uh, other than uh, we could go with another spark. I think three are fine for now. Plasma grenades is certainly a great addition. So might as well consider doing that. The battle suits are great once we have uh, the final ones and frost bombs aren't bad either, but unfortunately not usable because we don't have a grenadier. And without a grenadier, they are, their explosion radius is probably a bit too small. There could be a couple of experimental grenades that might be useful for us, but realistically speaking, we have two slots. We want, um, uh, we're going to have one Templar and 
that person is having a mind uh, shield so uh, it's already off uh, the uh, plate and I think the other two uh, the psyops will have blue screen rounds plus mimic beacons so that's also already kind of assigned I don't see the need I don't really see the need for for experimental grenades so if anything it's plasma grenade that would make the normal grenades a bit stronger but even that could be debated at this point so I'll keep the resources as is for now all right so we're purchasing nothing at this point alien alloys are not fully needed oh cool we get more influence and Hopfite is not injured that is good rapid collection is a decent one instant collection gives you more time to do other scans and now we do have the problem with uh, actually finding enough soldiers that can prevent the capturing so I'm still not over that part what's that is suboptimal so dodge 10 is fantastic unfortunately we can't slot hogbite here because we don't he would need to be the sergeant mobility one isn't bad for him either that is okay it's not a great resistance order but mobility one is good five dodge is even better uh, those of you who have seen my other playthroughs uh, see, uh, li uh, know how much i like stacking dodge on templars this is probably the best one because it gives him colonel promotion right away and plus one resistance context i think we're going to do that health is good this here is also something that we could do just to get those extra um, resistance orders. Sockbite eligible, uh, eligible for that? No, he isn't. Because more combat intelligence would mean he gets more points, so that would be great as well. This isn't bad either. Cost of additional stations are reduced by 50%, which means we will not need to spend too much in order to build those um, towers that's also pretty good let's take a look at the time that we do have available until the next event 17 days so that equals two missions and i think in order of priority i want the promotion and the resistance context is a nice to have and afterwards i think we're going for this here a because it has a nice side effect of the extra health that's good but B, it also uh, gives uh, the huge cash benefit of faster building those stations and we want to expand now. And then probably afterwards, over the course of the end of the month and next uh, beginning of next month, we're going to increase the influence here. That's not bad either. So let's select Hogbite. He will get the promotion here. He's working together with... Um, where is oh raul is wounded yeah that's unfortunate 24 days buddy you took one for the team that's for sure so how about he continues with toxic yep we do not want anyone to be captured so easily applying the supplies and yeah there's a moderate chance of wounding don't even mind if his if the rookie will get wounded i very much mind if hogbite would get wounded cool so that looks good overall we're in a solid state we do not need the supplies right now here's another supply rate that we could get my problem is we still don't have a plan how to deal with the avatar project so gotta continue our expansion although i would much rather want to scan for an additional supply rate as you can imagine more supplies and more larium and so on is exactly what i would want to get we completed our research in remarkable time command 
Nice. We got the powered armor. We still have the body of the recovered alien test subject in storage. And that is such such an important improvement. Improved pistols is really not what we need at this point. It really is not. We could get more intel, which I think we're going to start with, and then plasma rifles is definitely something that I can see as well. Berserker Queen would give us access to the rage suit. That's a heavy, uh, heavy suit with a free um, melee attack option and 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 built-in um, ability for heavy weapons. So that's not bad. Good. So how about we're starting with a Bursa Queen because I like the suit and I think the Psy operatives can use it. Then we're going into alien data cache uh, dis uh, de uh, description and afterwards we're going for plasma rifle. So let's start here. Maybe we should start training someone else. To Good. Let's build a couple of items and we already talked about that here would be a huge upgrade. So we're going to definitely upgrade that our sparks are now set they have the upgrade but our normal soldiers 600 supplies i was even wrong i stated 400 in an earlier video oh boy that is more expensive than i remember it but with another supply rate we could actually do that we're going to um, invest in this to make hog bite stronger there we go and that's already stretching it quite a bit can't upgrade the other stuff at this point but yeah warden armor would certainly be interesting got a lot of alloys but not closely enough we definitely need another uh, supply rate however our sparks are now finally ready and go uh, ready to go with their armor see and that is exactly why i am doing all of that because we're running against the clock might not look like it so many have suffered for you. but it's becoming a problem Ooh, we got Void Rift, that is cool, and we got a promotion to Arcolite, so let's continue our training. Are you kidding me? He gets domination as the next... Okay. I'm not going to argue with RNG on that one. Good old domination. And we are getting more alien alloys, more Illyrium crystals. So, we did not get the necessary supplies. Let's do a couple of things in order. Number one, let's start excavating down here. So that's 20 days well invested. Number two, I think we wanted to build the um, power coil down there. Let's finish the radio scan. Very good. Then let's head to the black market <clears throat> before we're continuing to get the rest of North America. Let's see, they want max, they can certainly have them. Two sectored corpses, a few viper corpses, stun lances, trooper corpses, purifier corpses. <coughs> we don't need those. Two mutant corpses. Yeah, that's more than enough. We don't even need to sell anything that's that would hurt us. 
and let's build a power relay down here we're going to speed up the building process so we're down to 10 days here it'll even move a bit faster thanks to our um, thanks to our resistance order and once that is built I sincerely hope that we can get both of our engineers out of here then probably build the defense matrix I would say just want to make sure that once we're shut uh, shut down that I do have the towers available or alternatively what we could do is we could go for well the infirmary isn't bad I like that idea oh, and we could also go for a shadow chamber it, uh, so that we can get some more storyline missions I think we're going for the shadow chamber just so that I do have enough means to get the avatar project <coughs> down okay let's make contact another 80 intel gone we're down to 40 intel not even enough to make contact with the next area but once this here is made as contact we got resistance network and that should be fine i don't know if we need one or two towers maybe we need a second tower if that's the case then we're going to build that good we now got the rage suit available it was irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have pursued this research knowing the incredible risks involved not just to herself but to what little of humanity as a whole remains. I will begin our research immediately. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Perfect. We got a rage suit kind of slotted in. Yeah, I think there's no need to speed that up. We're fine as it is. Perfect, and the rookie took the hit for the team, and we got a promotion for Colonel Hogbite. Hello there. Yeah, we want to take the breakthrough research. And with that, we would greatly reduce the resistance communication outpost costs. But before we do that, let's visit our newly found colonel. Damn it, Hogbite is a monster. By thinking about it, by the way, we might want to build the infirmary sooner than later because we want to get rid of his unfortunate traits. We're making progress against the and he gets... Nah. I was hoping for Blade Master and it is only reaper reaper isn't bad guys don't get me wrong it's a nice ability blade master is so much better though okay let's start uh, in uh, the order of business ghost is a fantastic ability we would like to have that reaper isn't bad either um, ionic storm as an aoe ability is good I like Void Conduit as well for crowd control purpose and regaining some health. We kind of have that shortcoming, I would say, of not enough healing capabilities. None of our soldiers is particularly well equipped to do any healing. The mechs can heal themselves, but a Hogbite kind of needs to stand um, on his own two feet so I'm going to get Void Conduit and Reaper because it is a too good of an ability to pass yeah that it completed or depleted the almost entire XCOM ability points reserve but boy he's a monster short of the non-existing Bladestorm this guy is going to clean house So, back to the resistance ring. We wanted to get that breakthrough research. 
I think that that is pretty significant reduction of costs. So I'm going to say we need that. And the rookies are constantly taking the hits for Hogbite whilst he is reaping the rewards. Good. Continuing. And finally we got a mission, guys. So, we got to do this one here because this is really bad if we would let this uh, go through. We don't need the reward, but 100% increase for all new contacts. Wow. The other alternative is the protect the device mission, which I hate those. And we got a hidden dark event. We're probably still going to do that. None of the rewards, maybe the Intel reward, uh, it's pretty good. But here's the deal. Why having an Intel reward if everything costs twice as much, right? So the, the problem with this here is that normal contact all of a sudden starts costing 160. It costs 320 for the first jump afterwards. It makes it almost unplayable to get new regions. So we cannot let that pass through. It would be a huge mistake in oversight. Which means in return we're of course going to do that mission. We got a power relay on the way. That is fine. Once this is done, we're almost at the end of the month. I'm just contemplating whether it's needed to pick up parts of our um, supply drop, maybe for one day, just so that we do have enough to build something. In terms of building, probably the shadow chamber is the natural next step. I like the idea of an infirmary as well, just to get Hogbite's traits gone, but that's more luck, luxur uh, luxury item and defense matrix which is again also more a luxury item although i like the defense matrix um for for a solid uh defense if we're being shut down once you have uh, witnessed how well that is working you never want to play without it it's just a really solid building and specifically once the chosens are ramping up their anger curve and can start shooting you down you are well advised to take that. In terms of research, research is proceeding as planned, Commander. The next thing would be probably plasma rifles. And we gotta get more income. Specifically more alloys and more Elarium for the armor upgrade. Let's just double check because we do have a bit of a bit of alloys and delirium ready so no we need 30 more alloys and even more delirium that's not even close okay cool good which brings us to the end of uh, today's episode guys i truly appreciate your support and i would appreciate it again if you hit the like and the comment uh, button so hit the like button and comment down below and see you all in two days bye bye